once again welcome to the depression this is this channel thank you for your support to the channel and also your contribution to make this channel a success we have been on a survey on how you can design a film denotum and i received a series of questions from my subscriber and also my viewers when i'm going to always answer the question in different formats in a different way and today I'm going to answer this question of one of my subscribers who asked a question. And this question is Can electrometer run generator and power itself? What it's trying to ask is Can electrometer on its own run generator? That's what generator is. And electrometer is moving. Can it run generator at the same time power itself? It's a very good question because. To really give an illustration of what we are doing because when you ask questions it gives us the room it gives me the room to explain better and also to expand that is why i always advise my subscribers to subscribe and also to share their views in the comment section now what does electric motor do electric motor we have seen electric motor the structure of this the structure of electric motor how it is an electric motor basically is the engine room, is the engine room of the free generator. I've said it with a number. I said the electric motor is the engine room. It is the place, it is the devices that make this all energy generator. Every type of energy generator is success. Now, the, the one of the things you have to know about electric motor is that it is devices, which means that it has capacity and capability to run for a long period of time without issue now if you look at the story of motorities you see that it's made up of some coils and you can see it here and other magnets that a magnetic that to meet the question now if you want to design a tree generator you want to design a plane generator one of the things you need to know is for you to have a sound battery motor now if you have a single motor like something like this now you can see if you have something like this you can see you have to join it when this is general like this one is electric motor and this generator now the two of them communicate through one particular device and this is what we call each other now if the electric motor now is being connected to a power source or initial power supply devices what a trim motor does is it start rotating it start running and as it runs this generator started also producing light as you see this kind of things there is generator will start producing the light because as long as this motor is on rotational aspect the generator will always produce light because its duty is to produce light it doesn't matter what makes it produce but as long as the whatever you attach to it gives it the requirement of the light system you will produce light i've said in one of my video i say even if you use your own hand we call it and crack to turn the generator it will still produce light the only difference is that the light will not be as maximum as when it's been blocked we are seeing africa part of africa where other devices like when listers have been attached and light still produced. We are also seeing the case where this also generator has been attached to a car and light still produced. So what am I trying to say? As long as the generator, whatever you attach the generator, as long as the generator is being rotated at a particular speed ratio, you always have light produced in the area. So the what the trim motor does now, what well, this simple inventions, this simple design, this simple uh, uh, resolution is for you to understand that this thing you see here, this master, this generator, is not a magical something that, make, that looks so difficult to do. No, it's not something that you have to stress yourself or have to, you know, you must have a very big uh, overloaded list or overloaded thing that you make. No, it's not like that. Even as, even as small as a trim motor, as long as you make a reason about about maybe one or five European, as long as the spiritual is met, you will just like. Now, in this place now, the, the question here is can electric motor produce, can electric motor run generator? Yes, can electric motor run generator? 
and power inside another one can this electric motor that is now run the generator and at the same time power inside the answer is yes I answer again the answer is what yes the electric motor can run the generator can turn the generator at the same time power is served now the question is how does this happen how does the electric motor run at the same time power is served this is where some people have issue that's is where i'm going to do it today now one of the things you know about the secret of this generator is the connection many of my subscribers have been mailing me some have been calling me and asking me a lot of questions how does how does how this i don't have this i don't have this one of my answer i always give to them is that do you generate light they say yes the lights a full yes now what is the problem they say if i switch over it goes off now the answer is simple now if you have electric motor and you have generator this you can see this cable now this cable why does this cable come in now as long when this is electric motor has to run in parallel first this electric motor help to turn generator now as long when the generator is running the generator produces light and then the, the light will feel back the electric motor i explained that in many videos i say if the electric motor is running and the generator is running the generator produces light the generator electric motor now is tap the light tap the production from the electric motor from which master this matter remember that this master is one is 15 kilowatts 15 kilowatts that is the total position rate is kilowatts and this electric motor is 1.5 kilowatts so in other words it's smaller in control rate than this motor now if the director if the director is producing in maximum of 15 kilowatts and this is 1.5 kilowatts the sub if you subtract 1.5 from 15 you are still having a power reserve of uh, 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 13.5 kilowatts so the name of the now is just this one is to supply the motor but the reason why some people generator don't always run is that many people the electric motor uh, is carrying high capacity and the generator now may not produce in that maximum for instance if I, the electric motor is 3 kV and the generator is not producing the maximum of 3 kV to supply the electric motor it will not run it will just you will just switch over it runs that so one of the secrets you must tackle is you must always try by all means to make your generator to produce at its maximum the generator must produce at its maximum when you allow the generator to produce at its maximum definitely the the the, the when the electric motor will draw the current from it the generator will not be better that is why sometimes when you switch over you see the generator, everything goes down and when you plug it back to maybe a snap power source you think everything pick up what does that tell me it's telling you that the generator power production or the generator output is not capable to run this electric motor so that's where some of you have issues that's where some of you are i'm going to still do video on this in the near future because a lot of questions that come from that area not everybody in the world some people will still ask some questions and i also going to provide another solution aspect because this area has become sometimes a discipline aspect because many people question it. so i'm going to also make a video on that area area in the near future on alternative aspect if your generator cannot give you what you want to enable you to buy the electric motor then look at what you do option b well, i'm going to do that in the video but in the meantime you are your, 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 your generator should give you a maximum production rate so that the voltage because you must okay i have 15 kv but why is it and my motor is uh, uh, 1.5 kv but why is it not right no it, the fact that you have 15 kv does not mean that if the generator is producing at 15 kV. So how do you know that? You must always use meter to test it. To know. Because if the generator is 15 kV and the production ratio is not to 15 kV, sometimes 12 or sometimes maybe 5 or whatever. And the motor here is too high. There's no way to not power. That's why sometimes you change over it goes down. So you must understand this. Um if you have this in your mind, you will always enjoy this new system. So the answer simple is that 
theatre motto can still run the motto and at the same time can still power the set. It's a simple instruction. Thank you once again for your time and also don't fail to subscribe and to share this video with your friend. Remember, this is Discovering Energy, the only channel that gives you everything you need as long as free is concerned. Thank you. See you next.